recording in progress. So good evening everyone. Today we are going to discuss about intraday scans. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So in intraday scans, you'll be able to find out different types of screeners. So let's discuss about each and every screener one by one. Firstly, we'll discuss about support and resistance level scanner. So here you'll be able to find out the support and resistance levels of this stock. So usually how I'll just tell you how to make use of the support and resistance levels. When the support level is broken, when the support level is broken, that means the support, suppose example, this is the support level and this specific level is broken down. We see for selling opportunity. When it comes to this resistance levels, when this specific resistance level has given, when the specific stock has given a breakout, that means the resistance level is broken. We see for buying opportunities. So when it comes to the next column, which is volume, what does this 252.76 means? This is the percentage change in volume when compared to the previous trading day. So what does this OI means? This is the open interest change of this specific stock, which here is Hind Copper. So first let me clear the drawings. So I'll uh, give you a brief idea of how to make use of this open interest. So for this, we need to understand the correlation between the price change and OI change. So price change and OI change. So we need to uh, note down few correlations between the price change and open interest change. Suppose example, price is increasing, open interest is increasing. When the price is increasing, open interest is decreasing. When the price is decreasing, open interest is increasing. When the price is decreasing and the open interest is also decreasing. So if you find out any stock in which the price is decreasing and the o, sorry when the price is increasing and the oi is increasing that means long build up is happening in that specific stock when you see any stock in which the price is increasing and the open interest is decreasing that means short covering is happening when the price is decreasing and the open interest is increasing that means short build up is happening in that specific stock when the price is decreasing and even the OI is also decreasing, that means long unwinding is happening in the specified stock. If you see in any stock that a long buildup and short covering is happening, we see for a buying opportunities. If in any stock short buildup and long unwinding is happening, we see for selling opportunities. So here in Hindu Copper, you can clearly see that the price, the percentage change or the price is falling down. And the OI is also falling down. That means in this specific stock, long, <coughs> sorry, guys, long unwinding is happening in this specific stock. So in Canada Bank stock, you can clearly see that the price is decreasing and the open interest is increasing. That means short buildup is happening. So here we need to see for selling opportunities. So let me clear the drawings. So when it comes to this option chain OI, it shows you at what strike price call writing is happening and at what strike price put writing is happening. So when call writing is more when compared to put writing, that specific strike price would act as a strong resistance. When call writing is less than put writing, that specific strike price would consider to be the support of the stock. You can actually make use of this uh, option chain data to find out the support and resistance as well. So this will be updated on real time basis. So you can actually try to make use of option chain data as well in intraday. So here in momentum column, you will be able to find out four numerical values, which shows you the stock momentum rank, 
stock out performance rank sector momentum rank and the sector rank on the current trading day you can actually make use of this specific column which shows the momentum ranks and outperformance ranks to understand whether the sector or the stock is in strong momentum or not suppose if we are having 1 to 180 just take a range range of stock a range of uh, stocks that we are observing if for any stock or any sector the rank is one that means that the specific stock which is having the rank one that means the lower rank it means that that specific stock is strong so that is how you can make use of this momentum column so here you will be able to find out other technical indicators such as viva adx rsi and momentum sorry uh, moving averages as well which is exponential moving average and simple moving average when it comes to this viva it is the volume weighted average price of a stock it usually act as a magnet if suppose this is the viva and the price went to this specific level there is a high probability of that specific stock to come back to this viva so this is how you can actually try to make use of viva so there is another use where you can uh, make use of this VWAP is when the specific VWAP line is broken, you can go long. When the specific VWAP line is broken down, we try to go short. So these are the uses of VWAP. When it comes to this ADX and RSI, you will be able to understand whether the stock could be in strong momentum in the upcoming some period of time or else is the specific stock is in consolidating or it is losing momentum you will be able to understand these things using these indicators when this adx is greater than 25 that means the stock is in strong momentum and it could also continue its trend when it comes to this rsi you need to understand three things rsi less than 30 rsi greater than 70 and it is greater than 50 when the rsi is less than 30 that means the stock is in oversold zone when the stock or the rsi is greater than 70 that means that the specific stock is in overbought zone when the stock is above 50 or crossing 50 that means that specific stock could be in strong momentum this is how you can actually try to make use of it when it is less than 50 that means that it is in weak momentum so you can clearly say right there are exponential and simple moving averages which shows you the dynamic levels such as support and resistance levels unlike the resistance levels and support levels which we have discussed earlier here these are the dynamic levels and these are the static levels so that is what you need to understand and the dif this is what the difference between the static levels and um, dynamic levels you can actually make use of these dynamic levels as well in the real time it will be updated on real time basis so that means suppose you, uh, you are observing 15 minutes time frame the static levels will not change in that specific 15 minutes time range but these dynamic levels change with respect to time so that's what you need to keep in mind so here there is an opportunity where you can switch the toggle between 5 minutes 15 minutes and one day time frame so the other uh, information of the stock will be same but the five, uh, in 5 minutes 15 minutes and one day based on the selection the other indicators such as VWAP, ADX, RSI and moving averages changes. So there is also an option where you can click this uh, apply filters and give the filters that you want to view the stocks which fulfills that specific conditions and click on add and it will be added and those specific stocks will be shown. So here there is also an option where you can click on the checkbox 
that you would like to trade with and click on trade selected and the order will also be executed directly from intraday screener itself. So let's discuss about the next uh, screener which is momentum stocks. So here you'll be able to find out the stocks which are in strong momentum. So let's take an example. So here I, you can clearly see right there is an option where you can sort between the momentum rank, outperformance rank, sector momentum rank and sector rank as well. So you can actually try to make use of this specific feature to identify which stock or which sector is in strong momentum. You can try to go long or short using this specific feature as well. So here you'll be able to find out the outperformance score of a specific stock for n days of time. So here you'll also be able to see the RSI and ADX values of the specific stock and also you will be able to find out the pictorial representation of the candles which helps you to get understand how the stock could move in the upcoming few days of time. Suppose let's take an example of power grid stock. It has rallied for a while, gave a small correction or you can say some sort of retracement and it has broken its previous swing. Hi, that means the specific stock is in strong momentum and we could go long in these kind of uh, stocks. So let's uh, discuss about the next uh, screener, which is range breakout scans. So here you'll be able to find out the stocks which has broken its previous 3 days, 5 days, 10 days, 30 days, 90 days and 52 weeks highest or lowest closes. So you can try to go long in the stocks when the previous 52 weeks high, 52 weeks or 90 days, 30 days, 10 days, 5 days, 3 days, highest closes are broken. When inversely, when the 52 weeks, 90 days, 52 week or 90 days, 30 days, 10 days, 5 days and 3 days low is broken, we try to go short in those kind of uh, stocks. So here we'll be getting the two days range of the specific stock and the percentage change in volume when compared to the previous day. So five to 10 minutes back, I've also explained you how to make use of this open interest as well. When the price is increasing and open interest is also increasing, that means long build up is happening in the specific stock and we see for buying opportunities. So it has also broken its previous three days high. That means there is a high probability of this specific stock to continue its trend in the upcoming few days of time. So this is how you can make use of our range breakout scans. So now let's discuss about real time edits. So whatever points that I have discussed earlier in the range breakout scans. So here you can clearly see right the stocks similar to that the stocks are listed down here when the previous 10 days 30 days 90 days and 52 week highest or lowest levels are broken now so but here you'll be able to find out the timestamp as well at what specific time that specific uh, stock has broken the level so here you'll be able to uh, filter the stocks based on the volume breakout super trend here using the super trend you'll also be able to get the buying and sell signals as well so here when 200 days moving average 100 days moving average 50 days moving average and 20 days moving average are broken it could be upside or downside those kind of at those kind of situations as well you'll be getting an alert and also you could clearly see the timestamp at which the specific breakout or breakdown has happened so here there is an option where you can also view the past few days of data. It could be super trend, volume breakout, 52 week, 330 days and 10 days breakout as well. So now let's discuss about uh, price action scans where you'll be able to find out the stocks in the specific 5 minutes and 15 minutes uh, screener. You'll be able to find out the stocks which has broken its past 20 candles each of 5 minutes if this is the range of the past 20 candles just for an example and this specific level is broken we get it in 5 minutes breakout and we see for buying opportunities when this level is broken which is the lowest level of the past 20 candles we see for selling opportunity 
same goes with the 15 minutes breakout and 15 minutes breakdown as well so here you'll also be able to find out the stock which has given the most returns in the past one hour and also the stocks which has given the lowest returns in the past one hour of time so here there is an op there is also a possibility or some, some sort of breakout on breakdown stocks the stocks are listed down in the specific sh short term breakouts and breakdowns when certain conditions are fulfilled you can make use of these specific uh, screen up for even swing trade as well so now let's discuss about opening range breakout so here you could clearly see that there are four different types of opening range breakout but the concept behind it is similar when the past suppose just for an example let's take uh, 15 minutes orb that means suppose example the stock has opened at 9 15 suppose for the next 15 minutes which is 9 30 the stock has formed high and low so we'll be marking the high and low of the stock for this specific uh, time range which is 9 15 to 9 30 when the previous high is broken we see for buying opportunities and the previous low is broken we see for selling opportunities so this is what the opening range breakout means similarly when the past 30 when we are considering the past 30 minutes range from the opening those kind of uh, breakouts happening after the 30 minutes opening range you'll be able to find out here similarly 45 minutes and 60 minutes you'll be able to view down below so what does this prb means that means the previous days range breakout this is what the prb means so including this 15 minutes opening range breakout or any orb when we add up the previous range breakout there is a high probability of that specific trade to go well in the upcoming some period of time so that is how you can actually make use of this 15 minutes orb and opening range breakout scans so now let's discuss about open high dose screener so let me clear the drawings so in this screener you'll be able to find out the stocks in which open price is equal to the lowest price of this stock for a specific period of time and also you'll be able to find out the stocks in which open price is equal to the highest price of this stock for a specific period of time we see for selling opportunities in these kind of uh, stocks and we see for buying opportunities when you see a specific stock is fulfilling this specific condition which is open is equal to low so for further confirmation if the previous day's range is also broken keeping that specific open price is equal to the lowest price there is a high probability of this specific stock to continue its trend in the upcoming some period of time that means we see for buying opportunity so in this open is equal to high plus prb so two conditions are fulfilled one is the stock for a specific period of time open price stood to be the highest price of the stock and even the previous day's range is broken that means usually previous day's low should have been broken so we see for selling opportunities in these kind of stocks so here also you will be able to find out an option called trade selected where you can click on the check boxes directly and click on trade selected and the order will be executed directly from intraday screen itself so now let's discuss about the trend screener using which you will be able to find out which stock is in strong momentum in 5 minutes 15 minutes and daily time frame so there is also an option where you can switch between the sectors such as auto fmcg pharma it metals and construction so that you'll be getting the stocks which are in the specific uh, sector so here also you'll be able to find out an option where you can switch between 5 minutes 15 minutes and daily time frame so here adx rsi and all these values gets updated on real time basis so now let's discuss about the nr4 and nr7 breakouts this means that suppose example i'll take nr4 suppose the fourth candle formed in this specific range is so small and the range is so small 
So we call these kind of uh, things as narrow ranges. That means narrow range is getting formed in this specific stock. When the high is broken, we see for buying opportunity. When the low is broken, we see for selling opportunity. There is a high probability of these kind of stocks to continue its trend after this breakout or breakdown. So when the these here we are considering four candles right if we are con uh, considering seven candles that is said to be the nr7 and when we are, when we consider nine candles with the same concept we call that as nr9 the last candle is called as nr4 candle or nr7 or nr9 candle so when the last candle being the range of the specific candle to be the shortest in the past four days or seven days or nine days and also if it starts to be the inside candle when compared to the previous candle so we, there is a high probability of these kind of uh, tricks to work well when this specific high or low is broken so let's discuss about the next screen now which is super trend macd scans so here you'll be getting an alert or buy or sell signals based on super trend volume and MACD scans as well. You can also make use of this super trend MACD live breakouts in intraday. So let's discuss about GAN square 9. In the first uh, screen, we have already discussed the support and resistance levels, right? So similar to that, these are also this GAN level is also the static level from where you'll be able to find out the support and resistance level of a specific stock and also you'll be able to find out the buy and sell levels you can also make use of these specific levels while trading or else you can uh, try to make use of your own levels so gan levels could be calculated based on the close and also last trader price you can make use of any of the two things so if you want to see the stocks which are only in nifty you can select this nifty option if you want to see the stocks which are in fmo segment you can click on this fmo segment as well so now let's discuss about the price movers so here you'll be able to view which stock has performed really well and which stock hasn't performed really well in the past some period of time just like visual representation so you can also find out the stocks in which short buildup was happening and long buildup was happening and also losers and gains for the current trading day so there is an option where you can switch between 5 minutes and 15 minutes as well so now let's discuss about the time wise gainers so here you will be able to find out the stocks based on just a second guys so here you'll be able to find out different columns such as 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 and 120 minutes. So what does this mean? So this means you'll be able to find out the stocks in which that specific stock has given the highest returns in this specific 5 minutes time frame. And if you see any stock has given the, so let's just a second this. So suppose I take this as an example. So here you can clearly see that in this specific 10 minutes time range, Asian Pings has given the highest returns. When it comes to this 15 minutes, you can clearly see that the Asian Pings itself stood to be the stock which has given the highest returns. So you'll be able to find out these kind of uh, percentage of returns in that specific time range, which is 45 minutes, 60 minutes and 120 minutes. You can actually try to make use of any of these uh, features so there will be also an option where you can switch the toggle between fmo and cash if you select this fmo option you will be getting the stocks which are probably in fmo segment if you select this cash option you will be able to get the stocks which are probably in nsc 500 stocks so without any we'll meet in the next video guys thank you